Today we're going to cover how to wire an automatic door. Um, so this can be used for a handicap button or something similar to that. So for this scenario, um, this is going to be one for uh, business hours and then outside of business hours. So during business hours, the door must be unlocked. Uh, pressing the ADA button will activate the actuator. Um, triggering the Rex will activate the actuator. And presenting a card um, doesn't activate the actuator. Um, so outside of business hours, the door must be locked. Pressing an ADA button does not activate the actuator. Triggering a Rex unlocks the door and activates the actuator. And presenting a card unlocks the door and activates the actuator. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a little graphic of the wiring template. You'll see here, uh, you'll have your card reader wired up as normal. Uh, you'll have your ADA button as well. And that'll go to one of your inputs. Um, your Rex, same thing, will go to one of your inputs and a door contact as well. And then you'll have your door actuator, which is provided by the door company. And then you'll have your magnetic lock or your strike. So if we go to a door, I'm going to go ahead and create a door here. And this is a fictional door because I don't have an actuator in my environment here. So I'm just going to head and call this uh, ADA door test. And I'll just assign it to one of these panels. The door mode, we're going to want to be card only. The custom mode, we're going to want to be unlocked. Um, the custom schedule, I'm just going to do the weekday schedule that I have built in here. Uh, but you can change that to whatever schedule you have. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, log grants right away. And then I'm going to check log all access as used and go ahead and hit save here. So then I'm going to go to the hardware tab here. And I'm going to go ahead and select a reader. I'll select my door contact. Um, I will assign a strike. And I'm not going to assign a Rex. So now if I go back to that panel, and I click the sub panel, and then I'm going to go ahead and select this little input icon here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this secondary input here. And I'm going to call it my ADA. And under CAN macros, I'm going to select input alarm. And I'm going to select the same schedule as the door here. And then I'm going to select the output that's controlling the door actuator, which is going to be this one right here. And I'll go ahead and hit save macro and save this. So now we're going to go ahead and create two global actions. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and hit add a global action. And then I'm going to call this one uh, grant. And this type will be door grant. And I'm going to go ahead and select the door that we're working on here. Make that a member and hit save. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my second global action, which is the actuator. So I'm going to go ahead and select output. And the type, I'm going to change to pulse. And I'm going to go ahead and select my activator output. And go ahead and hit save here. Now I'm going to create two global linkages. And I'll call this the grant linkage. I want to make it 24 hours active. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And under devices, I'm going to select input. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the proper input for my motion sensor. Go ahead and hit save on that. And under the events section, I'm going to go ahead and select input point in alarm and hit save. Now, under the actions section, I'm going to select this grant and hit save. And I'll go back to my global linkage, 
and I'll go ahead and create another one and this will be my actuator linkage go ahead and hit save make the schedule 24 hours active under devices we're going to select door we go ahead and select our door that we're working with save we'll go to the events tab and we're going to do host rex verified i'm sorry host host we're going to do host rex non verified and then we're also going to do local grant hit save and go to the actions and we'll go ahead and select our actuator action and go ahead and hit save here. And that's it. Once you get that all squared away, your ADA door should function properly.